Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we spoke with Perrin and, and had a battle with her and now we need to meet her in the Timeless Woods. But before we do any of that, at the time I'm recording this, there's a mystery gift. So let's go to the Poke Portal and input a code. So I'll see you as I input that code. So, oh, with this code, Oh, you can get Nell's Porygon 2! Which is, I believe, the North American champion in, um, Porygon. We have a quick look at it. It is, has the flying terror and it's holding onto whatever you like. Got download the ability, got terror blast, ice beam, recover and trick room. It's assigned it the partner ribbon. And there we go. Now let's not keep Param waiting any longer. Let's go down and see her, as I can see her Growlithe, and her Growlithe is spazzing out. <laughs> Looks like she's taking photos of a Pokemon with the Porty World's eyes closed. Okay, there we go. They open up. Yeah, good. Just like that. Okay, now give me a cue. Yes, look at you, you clever little, you clever thing, lovely. Now hold that pose for just a sec. Yes, that's my uh, little cutie pie. Wow, look at you. You didn't even know, I didn't even know you could pull off that kind of expression. And so photogenic. You're just too adorable, you know that? I could eat you right up. What is this? An extra serving of cuteness just for me? Don't mind if I do. I need more! Or, someone get me some extra storage and a napkin too! Oh hey partner, you made it. How long have you been standing there? You weren't, uh, listening in on all that, that stuff I... Nope, don't want to, don't even want to know. Forget I asked. Anyway, it's right around this part of the forest where people supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. Curiously, all the sightings have been on nights with heavy fog. That's a pretty intimidating picture. In fact, I've heard that all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. I'm sure that Blood Moon Beast is one of them. It's gotta be. Oh, is that my little cutie pie back for another photo shoot? Yeah! Ow, ow, ow. Better protect Growlithe. Ampharos is attacking. Let's quickly deal with it. It wanders in search of food after darkness falls, never resting in a specific place. I didn't mean the nickname. Ow, that really surprised me. My camera's okay though, thanks partner. 
And thanks, thanks to you too, of course. Feel a bit bad for that, Ampharos. It probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. I bet it only attacked because it was surprised. We should set up a tent that, that will let the Pokemon know we are here and help, help them get used to us. Got a tent set up, let's talk to Param. She she may be old, but she's still a fine tent. <laughs> it's actually my dad's, but he wasn't using it, so I just helped help myself to it. Say hello to our new base of operations for our survey of the Blood Moon Beast. Now the Blood Moon Beast is say is way more wary than the ordinary Pokemon. That's why I there have been so few sightings, or so they say. That means we're going to need to do something slow and steady groundwork if we want to find it. So, partner, what I'm going to need your help uh, with most is photographing Pokemon! I want you to take photos of the Pokemon that appear around here on foggy nights. I'm looking for a lot of pictures of a good variety of Pokemon. Afterwards, I'll register your photo data into my handy Pokemon searcher. Over time, I'm that will train it to ignore any sightings of other Pokemon that live around here. Clearing out all that noise will let us pinpoint exactly where the Blood Moon Beast is. Brilliant! Whoa, you actually understood that? I'm just rambling off what the manual said. I picked this thing up at a thrift shop. Don't really understand how it's supposed to work. My preliminary surveys make me think that there are do actually dozens of Pokemon species that tend to show up around here on foggy, around the forest on foggy nights. We can split up the load, so how about you try I and snap at photos of, of 10 species of Pokemon for me? How about it, partner? If we, track this, if we tackle this together, I'm sure we'll find the Blood Moon Beast. Oh! And we're looking for Pokemon and we're looking for clear photos to get the Pokemon in nice, ice and big in the frame. I want you to sneak up up on foot to get close to them. No riding on big egg noisy Pokemon. Think you're ready? Say the word. Once you're good, we'll set up the tent and and, and wait for a foggy night. Let's do that. Let's get ready to search for the Blood Moon Beast. Ready to go photographing some Pokemon and survey the forest uh, for me? Reporting for survey duty. Then let's get the hang in the tent and until the weather gets nice and foggy. Looks like this is about as good as it's gonna get. All right, partner, let's get Ed, Ed out there and survey. Let's look for Pokemon. So you can just pull out your phone and take pictures of Pokemon. But wow! Aw, you took a uh, Growlithe for me. You're sweet. I mean, sure, it's no help, help, help at all for the survey, but I still love to see e his photos. <laughs> so let's get out there and search. So you want to check the grass, the trees, everywhere. Also, pay attention to this music. Right, I can't take the photo while I'm crouching. Took a new photo, let me see. That's the spin it in, inning split Pokemon, Spinarak. Do you think it could try spinning up, up new web ebbs in the trees? This, this is great. I knew you were the right person for the job. Let's keep up the good work. Erg, I got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. Took a new photo, let me see. That's the that's the invitation Pokemon, Pseudo Wudo. It's real easy to mistake it for a tree in this fog. You do take a great photos, partner. Have you tried I turning your eyes upward too? There may be Pokemon lurking up in the trees. Well, keep up the good work. I got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. 
So if you've been listening to the theme, this is gonna sound very familiar to you. Oh, this is the uh, the Heartwood theme from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Which is the remix of the Heart of Eterna Forest. Yeah, if you take photos like that, she does not accept those. And also, if the Pokemon sees you and is running away from you, even if it's like the biggest goddamn photo o of that Pokemon, on the game will not count it. That's the Firefly Pokemon, Lum Lumise. Hey, word has it that it gets along real great with Bulbeat. You got a real eye for photography, partner. Well, I did play Pokemon Snap. I bet you could even and get great shots of Pokemon on that re e that refuse to sit it still and always wander around. Well, keep up the good work. I got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. That's the Firefly Pokemon Bulbeat. I bet that Lumise showed up just to be with it, huh? That's my partner for you. You know, I bet there could be Pokemon in caves nearby too. You should probably snap some some shots. Well, keep up the good work. I got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. Alright, that's just grass. I thought that might have been a Pokemon. Let's keep looking for some more Pokemon. That's the ap Apricorn Pokemon C dot, right? Pretty easy to mistake it for a berry or something. You got a real knack for this sort of thing. I bet getting those Pokemon to hang near, near the water in the northeast part of the forest would be a walk in the park for someone like you. Well, keep up the good work. I got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. Another C dot up there. Should be a cave nearby here. Ooh, if I can get this Pokemon to show me its front. Oh, come on! How does that not count? You can clearly see it. Screw you. God damn it, Param. You can clearly see the dust skull. How's that? Oh, screw you. That's the calm Pokemon, Hatcher Hatchera. Uh-huh. Must feel right at home in quiet forest like this. Nice, you've done some real fine work out here. Oh, one tip from me? Watch your footing when you get to the area with all the rocks. I trip if they're nearly face planted in the dark. Well keep up the good work. I got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. Oh, yeah, now that counts. Every other time I took a picture of it when it's semi-transparent, you're like, wait, there's no Pokemon here. 
That's the Requiem Pokemon, Duskull. It makes quite an impression on the dark light, arc night like this. Mm-hmm, you're getting a real practice as at catching Pokemon out and about on their daily lives. I do guess you could even catch a Pokemon up in the trees searching for their next meal. Well, keep up the good work. I got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. That's the toxic lizard Pokemon, Salandit, right? Sneaking up some uh, um, prey in the dark, maybe. Just what I come to expect from uh, act of my partner. Your photos really show showcase you, your good taste. Oh, and did you hear that sound coming from the northwest? Or northeast? Like thunder or something? I wonder if it could be an electric type Pokemon. Well, keep up the good work. I got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. We just need to find two more. I believe there are more po more types of Pokemon you can find here than what you need. Oh, come on! You can clearly see the hoodoo! Screw you, Param! size any different from the previous photo that's the owl Pokemon hoot hoot I have always wanted to get a shot of it switching itching the foot on it stands on I bet there's still some more Pokemon hiding in the forest you haven't photographed yet just one more Pokemon and your survey work will be complete keep up keep it up partner Go find one more Pokemon. We got a Geodude here. It's the rock Pokemon, Geodude. You gotta be careful or you might trip over this fella. And with that, you completed your survey. Well done, partner. Survey complete.